All right, so this is an example we didn't have time to do in class where we're subtracting minutes. And again, just like before, if I wanted to, I could make kind of a little chart here um, with degrees, minutes, and seconds. And I'm subtracting, let's see, what am I subtracting? Six and 45 and 30. All right, so just kind of like subtracting decimals or whole numbers or whatever if you don't have enough you go to the next unit and go from there all right so like obviously i can't subtract here because i don't have any seconds i can't subtract here i don't have any minutes so i'm gonna go here and actually i'm gonna change my color here um and so this i'm gonna change to 44 all right so in a sense i borrowed a degree or i ungrouped a degree and so when I do that, that gives me 60 here. Um, but again, that doesn't really help me over here. So I'm going to ungroup or again, borrow might be a word you're familiar with. And again, I get 60 of those. All right. So at this point, now that I've ungrouped, I can subtract. So I get 30 of those. I subtract here. I get 14 of those. And I subtract here and I get 38 of those. And of course, this is my degrees. This is my minutes and my seconds. So my answer is 38 degrees, 14 minutes, and 30 seconds. Um, another example that we didn't have time to do in class was with division. All right. So if we look at division here, I have, um, say, 21 degrees, 27 minutes, and 36 seconds divided by 2. All right. And obviously, um, kind of like a polynomial, you can divide all these by 2, kind of if you have something like 2x squared plus 4x plus 8 divide by 2 you can divide each part by 2 so I can divide each piece by 2 so again I'll kind of switch colors here so I'm going to take this by 2 and that gives me what 10.5 degrees and I'm going to divide that by 2 which gives me um, what 13.5 um, seconds and I can divide that by 2 which gives me 18 seconds. I don't know if I said seconds here, but I meant minutes. So, so degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now, um, we don't usually have decimals mixed with the units of degrees and seconds. It's all in the same unit. The only exception is you might sometimes have a decimal down here if you don't round. So basically that 0.5 is illegal. So I'm going to switch um, over here. And so I got to get rid of that. So my unit to go between these guys is 60, so times 60. So I'm going to take my 0.5. The 10 is fine. I like the 10, so I'm going to leave that alone. But I'm going to take my 0.5 times 60, which basically is going to add 30 to that guy. All right. Now, I really don't like the 0.5 on this guy either. So I'm going to take that times 60, which, again, these are nice numbers. They won't always be half. And then that would create 30 in that category. So when I add down, I get 10 degrees, and then over here I get 43 minutes, and when I add down over there, I get 48 seconds.